this character became a plethora of my personal experiences as a police officer, reading about strong men such as Fidel Castro, Trujillo in the Dominican Republic, Manuel Noriega in Panama, ultimately uh, Hugo Chavez in Venezuela. The way that I did it was like this. I actually grew up with a buddy. We were elementary school buddies, friends, who end up becoming a general, a brigadier general. I have not seen him in more than 40 years. But I know one thing, he's wanted by DEA. He's wanted by the US government for money laundering, for drug trafficking and human rights violations. So I read about him. And to me, this is an individual that is just cold-blooded, cold-blooded. In my mind, I like, I, I, it was incomprehensible to me because he was a good kid. He came from a good family and then he turned into this animal. So what I did was I tried to create this character based on what I've seen in my career as a police officer, seeing the bad guys and seeing how some of these dictators throughout Latin America had behaved mm -hmm. in the past. You know, this is strong man, military man. And then when this role comes along and I see the script to Cupita, it just, it inspired me even more. Mm -hmm. I said, I got it, I got it. And then Remy, it gave me also the freedom to to improvise when yeah. it was necessary to improvise. And, and I know that uh, with the uniform and when you're doing this, you stay in character. And I know that I, I uh, having conversation with the other actors on the set, I say, man, you look intimidating. <laughs>